Okay, this is another example of multiplying four digit by one digit. Let's begin with reading the problem. The concession stands at the Houston Texans game used 2,573 pounds of hamburger meat on opening night. The hamburger meat cost $4 per pound. How much money was spent on the pounds of hamburger meat? So we start with our window pane. They want to know how much money was spent. How much money spent? We abbreviated it. Okay, this is all about the money spent on the hamburger meat. The concession stands at the Houston Texans game used 2,573 pounds of hamburger meat. Do we need to know that? Yes, we need to know that because the question is about how much money is spent on the pound. 2,573 pounds and each pound costs how much? So it's four dollars Four dollars for each pound. So this is what we need to find out. This is what we know. Okay, so every pound that we have, we're going to have how much? It's going to be four dollars. Am I going to draw 2,573? Absolutely not. And you don't even have to draw 10. The most that you can draw is 10. So I'm going to write how many pounds at the end. What number is going in inside of each? Four. One pound is four dollars. Two pounds. Do I know how much money I have spent in all? Just draw as many, no more than ten, and then at the end you're going to put 2,573. Because for every pound that we have, it's four dollars. Okay, so Kaylin says we're going to multiply. What would that multiplication sentence look like? Two thousand five hundred seventy-three times four. Let's look at our answer choices. What's the answer choice I can immediately get rid of? A or B? B is immediately. I absolutely know it's not going to be B. Okay, so let's draw our area model. Four boxes for the area model. <coughs> let's break apart 2,573. Listen to how I say it slowly, because that is how we would break it apart using expanded form. 2,500. 73. Listen to how I say it slowly because that is how you will break it apart. 2,573. And what is the other factor that we're multiplying by? 4. 
Now we're going to count zeros to see how many zeros should go in this box. One, two, three. And now we're going to multiply two times four. Okay, for 500 times four, how many zeros are there? Two, two zeros. And then five times four is 20. 70 times four has how many zeros? One. Seven times four is 28. Three times four is 12. What do we do with our partial products? We add them. Okay, two, eight plus one is nine, two plus nothing is eight plus two is ten. Okay, now we're going to write a complete sentence. The question was how much money was spent on the pounds of hamburger meat? So this is about money, $10,292.00. was spent on the hamburger meat. Do we have an answer choice that matches? Yes. What is our answer choice? And we're going to color it in there nice and neat. Okay, so this is what a four digit times one digit problem would look like. 